Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Are you curious on what it takes to be a pen tester and what it looks like when you go into a pen test? Maybe you have to have a kickoff call or just learn what it takes to have a scope of work or a scope of a pen test. So we're gonna go through what I have here, what I do, and if there's anything that I'm missing or that you guys do differently, let me know in the comments below. So let's jump into the video. Before we do that, please like, subscribe, and share. All right, folks, so here we are jumping on the desktop. So this is like a little pen testing scope for clients that I have. I have another more thorough one, but I broke it down and just took this for people that want to learn what it takes to be a pen tester or what to ask for or what is it that I do, you know? So generally, obviously, you get the client information, their company name, their contact person, the email, this is just a little template, right? This is not my real one. Their contact information. So these are some questions that we're gonna ask the client in order for us to know what we're gonna be testing, right? So the first one here is the target systems or networks, right? Are we targeting a web application? Are we targeting a network? Say for example, I don't know if I can edit this because this is a PDF, but you know what? Let's do this together. We're gonna, let's go ahead and just hit yes. And this is fine here. And we're gonna go ahead and put this over here. All right, so we're gonna make this larger. I wanna delete all this. And we're gonna put this beside here. Let's do that. Okay, whoops. All right, so the number one, the name of the target, right? So I'm just gonna say for shits and giggles, I'm gonna put 10.10.10.0 slash 24, right? So that's gonna be my number one, right? The location is going to be New York, New York branch, whatever, all right? So number three is going to be the objective and the scope. Obviously, we can say, okay, this is going to be uh, external, right? External, right? Whatever, however you spell external, right? So now the next thing is, what is the objective of the pen test? What are we trying to, we can say, uh, uh, the objective is do a external test, whatever, right? I think I spelled, I forgot the E here, external, right? So the next one here, let's go ahead and just bring this over so we can see. And let's bring this over so we can see everything. Or well, we can just make this a little smaller. Let's just bring it over, okay? All right, so... Here we have the next one here is what is the specific goals and objectives of the penetration test, right? Like what are the goals? Are you guys want to see, you know, if you're vulnerable, is it to have regulatory compliant things or whatever? Like I'm just going to put goals, right? Whatever the goal is for the client, right? So let's go ahead and let's make this a little smaller so we can have it all on one page. I think it's still good. Okay. So the next one here is what is... I think I just put that. What is the objective? Do a pen test uh, that I, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's good. Just trying to make sure I'm all on the right page. All right, so the next question here is, what are the specific systems or networks that we'll be testing? For an example, this is redundant. Say, for example, um, only testing, in this case, 10.10.0 slash 24 network, right? This is all we're going to be touching, right? Just obviously, this is just all dummy data I'm just putting together so you guys know how to fill it out. Are there, are there any systems or networks that are off limits? Yes. Don't, for an example, don't touch the SQL box. SQL server. Okay? All right, so now I want to go to the ROE, the rules of engagement, right? So the rules of engagement, here's some questions that I came up with that I have, and I just threw this on here together. And we have, what are the rules of the engagement, right? Uh, whatever that rules of engagement is, you can, you know, talk, I'm going to put talk with client for this, right? Because that can differ, right? So what are the start and end dates of the pen test? For an example, Mon Monday to Friday, I don't even know what today is. I'm just going to put whatever, Monday through Friday, 10, 7, to the, four, uh, to the, what is that, 5, 15, I mean 12, 
10 dash 12 slash 12, right? Right, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah, five days. <laughs> Math is hard too. All right, so the next one here is who will be notified of the penetration test and when? So say for example, if you don't want people to know about your pen test, maybe you just want the CISO, CISO and CEO to know, right? So that's, that's for example, right? Obviously this is all, you know, depends on your client, right? So what actions are permitted and prohibited during a penetration test, right? So don't test SQL and no DDoS, DDoS attacks. Uh, for example, password, sp password spraying, and that's it, All right? Just for an example, right? And uh, what are the consequences for the violation? <laughs> call the cops, <laughs> call the cops, right? Fucking call the cops on you. All right, so let's keep going down. Let's, we're making pre pretty good progress. All right, so now we'll get into some of the technical information. Like I said, during this video, like if there's anything that I'm missing or that will be beneficial for you to, for me to add, throw it in the comments. And if you have one that you use, you know, email it to me or, you know, hit me up on Discord or however you want to contact me. And I would love to see your scope of, you know, scope of work and like the pen test scope that you ask your clients. I was asked this like, oh, what do we ask clients? I've been asked this probably a dozen times in the last couple of months. And I never actually made a video on this topic. So figured I'd just throw something together. All right, so now we can just go over to technical information, right? IP addresses, subnets that are tested. In our case, we're gonna just gonna stick with the 10.0.24. 10 10 Let's go ahead and make this, uh, all right, cool. So that's gonna be the network and subnets. And for example, I can just say, just to switch it up, you know, switch it up a little bit, and that's gonna be 27, 27 bit mass there. All right, so systems and network configuration. Obviously we can get into that. Okay, uh, a, a, AD, DNS, I don't know, DHCP. I'm just, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just throwing shit out there. Uh, and uh, network configuration. So, I don't know, for example, ASA firewalls, and so on and so forth. This is just some of the configs, and they'll give you the configs, right? Maybe, maybe not. It all depends. Operating systems. Uh, Windows Server 2019 and 2022. And then on the client end, whoops, client Win Win 10, for example, and Win 11. Okay, or well, whatever. Win, if I can spell Win. Okay, so the next one here is the applications and services running on its target systems. We can say IIS, um, DNS, uh, domain controller ADDS, which is Active Directory Main Services, um, SQL, uh, etc. Whatever, right? So the users and you know we could say Pat, Bob, and Sam, right? And their level, Pat is an admin, and everyone else is, uh, you know, regular users. Right? We can just do user, and the same thing here. Right? Just, just for, like I said, shits and giggles. We're just trying to put something together. Okay. And then the next one here, firewall and other security controls. We could say WAF, Web Application Firewall. Maybe we have EDR, maybe we have uh, regular file, you know, firewall, um, email security, etc. whatever. Whatever you wanna give the client or whatever the client wants to give you, right? So communication and coordination, we can say with the CISO, right? That's who we're gonna communicate with and who, who will be the point of contact for the pen test, um, you know, CISO, whatever, 
right? And what communication channels are used for the pen test? We can say um, private Slack channel, right? Private Slack channel. So no one can see, we're not gonna use Teams, we're not gonna use anything, WebEx or whatever you use in your in your job, we're not gonna use that because then that's that can be tracked. All right, so we're gonna use a private Slack channel, right? Who will be responsible for coordinating the penetration test for the other teams? And I want to say Pat, Patrick, right? I'm going to be doing that for an example. And the next one here, how will the penetration test uh, be coordinated with the security operations? Um, however you want to coordinate that. Um, kick, I'm going to put uh, whatever, kickoff, call, whatever. Um, the reporting and deliverables, uh, we're going to go ahead and report, you know, report the findings, etc. Okay, and what are the expectations for reporting and deliverables? Whatever, uh, tech, exec, summary, um, whatever. I'm just putting some stuff out there, right? What format, whatever, uh, maybe Excel or PDF, right? Okay, who will receive the reports? Um, CISO or sec manager right security manager and when would there's all right so i would say um one week after after testing is done okay and this is pretty much it so this is everything that i go through right if there's anything that i'm missing that you use throw it in there this is pretty much a video on how to scope out a pen test right and this is what I do, right? Everyone does their things different. Maybe other people, whatever. This is something that I put together over the years. And, you know, obviously I've Googled things and I've taken things from other places. And I'm going to be honest, right? And I just, you know, over the years, hearing other people and just started writing down questions. And I have a whole bunch of other questions, but, I, you know, I don't want it to make it. I don't want to make this a million, you know million years this video but yeah that concludes this video if there's any questions leave it in the comments and i thank you so much for checking us out and until next time have a beautiful day